Hi and smiles everyone and welcome. It's Colleen here. So today I have a Timu haul for you. So we're going to just jump right in. I had opened it up because I wanted to, uh, I got a couple of stamps and some die cuts. So I wanted to stamp them out and die cut them so you could see them. But first I got this is part of my order and what this is is some magnetic picture frames for my diamond paintings and uh, yeah so I just got these there's two in a package let me just check so it was $14.98 for the two frames and they are 12 by 16 so there's two in here so they just open up like this I believe let me get this figured out how this works there we go and then you just put your picture inside here and it helps protect it um, and then you could just hang it on the wall just like this and all I would do is use some E6000 glue and put a little loop on here is what I would do or you could actually put this in a wooden picture frame uh, if you would like and uh, the thing about the diamond paintings that I have found is they're not always excuse me the size that is easily to find a frame for like um, I've got a couple that were 12 by 12 and those frames are difficult to find so I had gotten I had ordered a couple that are going to be like this these here the magnets then what I did was with this order too I got some frame foam frame trim and it is $3.98 for this but what it is is you can put it around your it's very light and you can frame around whatever frame you want you just it just has a sticky side to it and give it more of a fancy frame and what I think I'm going to do is I might just stain this a little bit use some uh, distress ink so that it just uh, will highlight the um, design on here a little bit better but that's what I decided I want to give a try to is is try some of this because I thought that would look very interesting and I like the idea of a white frame so that's why I got both of these and like I said I haven't decided if I'll do it with my 12 by 16s or my 12 by 12 but I'm just going to set this aside and we'll continue on. So there's quite a variety. It's all craft related, but quite a variety. Well, one thing is not craft related. So anyways, we'll move on. And what we'll do is we'll do the stamp sets next with the uh, die cuts. So this is the ten the stamp set it's daisies and it's really quite nice and the stamp set was 338 and then I got the coordinating dies with it so this is the die set and this is I cut them out so you could see them so this is the label I used on this thank you and this friend and then these are the daisies, the different daisies. And then, oh, I forgot to cut out the big one. And then this big one, which I forgot to cut out, but they cut out really good and they're right tight to the image that you stamp. So this bigger one, which I can't believe I forgot to do that one, just fits on this bigger stamp here so I have no doubt that it will um, 
stamp just as good and cut out just as good as these ones did. And I do apologize. I thought I had done that. But apparently I hadn't done the big one. Okay. So the, the coordinating uh, die cuts were 548. So for the, the die cuts and the stamp, it's under ten dollars it's uh yeah it's it's just under nine dollars and i thought that was a pretty good deal for dies and a stamp and then i got this stamp here is the stamp so you've got all these different flowers and then all your words and so i stamped them out and i was Quite impressed actually I'll show you these first this is the die cutting set so the die cutting set has the the flower image here the whole thing can be cut out or you can cut out the, the head of it or just the leaves so I think you could end up layering this if you wanted but these are standalone dies too which I thought was very interesting. There was a lot of dies compared to the what you have here. This is the leaf one, and then this is, uh, oh, that's a daisy one, I think. We will put that aside. I have it in the wrong spot. Anyway, so this one's this one, this one's this one. Then you get four flowers, which cut out by themselves. They just, you could, um, without the coordinating stamp, you can use them. And then this one is for the stamped image. So I'll show you here what I'm talking about. So here is, I used a bit of a dark background, but here is that flower cut out cuts out really good and then we've got this one and we've got this one and then uh, I what I did is I stamped the mid the, that would be for this tie so you could put it on top of that or use it alone and then I just die cut it without stamping it so you could do that also and here's the leaf die. So again, you could layer that on top of that, right? It, but it's a little bit smaller, as you can see, than the stamped image. So I think it is meant to be used like that, is what I think it's meant to be used like. So this just can be used. You can uh, do your leaves and then whatever top you want your flower to be. Right? Which I thought was really cool. And then we have this. This is uh, the die with uh, one of my flowers. These were so tiny, but you'll get the idea. So you can cut it out without stamping it, that tiny little flower, or you stamp it and cut it out there. And these two dies, as you can see, this one is for the stamped image, this one is for without the stamped image. Oh, there's where the other one went. So you actually get four little die cuts for these flowers. So you certainly get quite a bit of die cuts with this, right? And then these are just the um, stamped words. Our friendship makes me smile. The best is yet to come. A thank you. Um, you are such a good friend. And you have my whole heart and always will. So you get quite a bit, right? I was quite surprised at this uh, die cut set, and this die cut set was 
$4.38 and then the coordinating stamp is $3.18 and I have to say I think this is well worth it because you get a lot for your money that's for sure there's a lot of different ways you can use that stamp and die cut set so those are the stamps and die cuts okay so we're going to move on to I got some uh, storage boxes so this is a set of three and it's a slenderer one but I got this because I have been getting a lot of stickers and things and so I'm my books that I usually keep them in uh, my ephemera books that I've made they're getting they're getting over Whelmed, so I decided to get a few of these types of of uh, containers, and this three-piece one is three dollars and sixty-eight cents, and uh, it's just what I want because it's quite thin, and they'll stack quite nicely, right? So I got that, and then the other ones I got there was ten in this pack. And I'm hoping to find a container to put these containers in. I think it's what I'll do the next time I go to the Dollar Tree. I think they have one that this would work. These would work well in. And again, they're just a smaller, little smaller version. And uh, yeah, so for storing stickers and things like that, this would be great. Jewelry, beads, those types of things that we all seem to have and these that you got all 10 of these for two dollars and 28 cents which i thought was a really really good deal okay and the one thing i got that is not craft related are these and these are for your chair legs right uh nowadays lots of us have wooden floors or laminated floors or whatever and we don't want to get them scratched out and I just scratched up I just thought these were the cutest so they just slip on to your chair legs like that and they come in a set of four and uh, I have to credit my daughter she had gotten some of these and I seen them on her chairs and they were so cute and uh of course, I'm a I'm an animal person, but you get four in the set, of course, for your chair. And how much were those? I think I forgot to write these down. I think it was like, hmm, I did, but I'm sure they were a dollar eighteen for a set, like really reasonable. So I got six sets of those to go on my chairs and I think they'll be so cute and my chairs are brown so like wood brown okay so the last thing I got I believe well the second last thing I got I got a rotary tool I have wanted one for some time and I seen this one and the price this is the tool itself so this is the little rotary tool comes like that has an off and on switch and uh, then you just screw your different things in the top here and then it comes with uh, your plug in there's instructions inside but it came with a hundred and fifty one accessory set and the whole thing was twenty six dollars and twenty seven cents I mean I couldn't go wrong with that and then it's got all these different uh, attachments that you can use I'm going to have to figure out what they're all for um, there's even, uh, like there is, I'm not even sure what that is for the uh, liquidy looking stuff here, but there is 
a little attach I'm sure this to help you open and close if you need to there's buffers there's uh, cutters like um, so you can engrave with into glass and things like that there's different uh, kinds of um, I wanted to say uh, sandpaper and this is a rough like wire brush so yeah I don't think you'll I don't need anything else than what's in here there is so much stuff in here so anyways I thought that was a terrific deal and I didn't need anything super heavy duty or fancy for my needs but I think this is uh, it's quite heavy duty and um, I think it's gonna work just fine so I got that, and then to go with that, the last thing I got was these, this is, was a, a saw accessory set that goes for, to your rotary tool. And I am, you know, I cut things, like any woody embellishments, I'm cutting things periodically in my craft room. And this comes, it's a seven, it's a seven piece mini saw blades is what it's called and for these seven blades was three dollars and 88 cents and then this is the attachment to attach it to your rotary tool and i like the package it all stores in there like that i thought this was great so that was my biggest purchase and my most exciting purchase of this timu haul so I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow. And if you press that notification bell on the bottom, it will let you know when I'm putting up a new video. So I want you all to have a lovely, lovely day and a crafty kind of day. And we will see and talk to you soon. Bye for now.